Alors, l'électromagnétique le, le, du cœur est différent du cerveau. It, while the, the electromagnetics of the brain is very complex, parce que c'est complexe l'électromagnétique uh, du cerveau. And we have a, it's very complex and we have many neurons there. Et on a tellement de, de neurones dans le cerveau. We have less neurons in the heart chakra, in the heart area. On a moins de neurones dans le chakra du cœur. But the energy from the heart extends at a large, larger distance than the energy from the, from Mais, the brain. Mais, bien sûr, mm -hmm. l'énergie ici va plus loin que l'énergie du cerveau. It has a, la a largest, <laughs> uh, largest uh, has a capacity of, more, of dealing with distance because it's, since it is a simpler uh, electromagnetic system, uh, it, it is designed also to uh, extend more than the uh, electromagnetics of the, of the brain. Alors, ça va beaucoup plus loin chercher uh, l'énergie magnétique que le cerveau. And the, uh, the most important thing is to have coherence. La cohérence? Yeah, la cohérence. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, c'est important. Between the electromagnetics of the brain. La cohérence entre les deux. C'est important d'avoir la cohérence. And the electromagnetics of the heart. And chanting, because et, it helps in the coherence process. Mantras, singing and praising the Lord, praising God. Et, et prière. Praising, uh, I like to do uh, Sanskrit, uh, Sanskrit chanting, you know. Il like en Sanskrit. Uh, yeah, Sanskrit. Uh, yeah, well, uh, mantras, you know. I like to do oh, mantras because... Om. Oh. Oh. You know, or uh, we can all do it together now. Just, uh, you know, just You're gonna put your hands like this and, and uh, just you close your eyes and, and just, uh, just to say, say one mantra. But I like to not just Om, I, I do, uh, you for know, just the uh, there are many mantras mm -hmm. in Sanskrit for different purposes. You know, each mantra is for different purposes. For, uh, sound, is, 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 sound is very important, right? <laughs> because sound, sound, uh, 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 sound is, is vibration. Uh, and, uh, in, in, and in chanting, you're using your right, your left hemisphere because you're using your, your, your words, your, your, your broadcast area, and you're using the, the left hemisphere that processes information linearly, and you're also using the right hemisphere because you're doing the singing. So you're integrating the, 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 the brain with a mantra. And, uh, and of course, it can, uh, I like the mantras because, you know, Sanskrit is a very old language. Alors, le sanskrit est le plus ancien des langages. It's a very old language and um, uh, you know that we all speak uh, Indo-European languages, at least the people in India and Europe belong to the Indo-European family of languages. Alors tout le monde en appartient à, au langage européen. Et Indo-européen, Indo-européen. À la famille des langues qu'on appelle la, 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 la famille Indo-européenne. Indo all the languages of India and Europe, with the exception of Hungarian and Finnish, belong to that family. <laughs> French, uh, Spanish, uh, Français, Russian, Italian, all of them. Yeah. And they all come from Sanskrit. They all come from Proto-Indo-European. Proto means before Sanskrit even. The Proto-language that has developed le, la Sanskrit, du, du Sanskrit, le sur Sanskrit, on a développé le grec, on a développé le, le latin, on a développé le... Ça vient tout du Sanskrit. Sanskrit so, so from Sanskrit, latin, you know, uh, and from Indo-European, we had Latin, then we have Greek uh, branch, uh, it's mm -hmm. like a tree, you know. Uh, the roots is Proto-Indo-European, and the, the branches are Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian. So we're going to the source. Alors, and the more we go into the source, the more we get in touch with the source. Alors, plus on, on vient à ce, ce -là, 
perdu, on est connecté avec la source parce qu'on retourne à la source. Si on retourne à la source lingu linguistiquement, linguistiquement, on est connecté aussi avec la source. Of course, there are other families of languages, you know, for other uh, so-called uh, linguistic groups like sino taiwanian Chinese, Tibet. Uh, But we belong to the Indo-European, and uh, so our heritage, linguistically, it, it goes, goes back to Sanskrit, to proto, proto proto Indo-European. Indo-European. Yeah. Bravo, Monique. Yeah. Très bien. Oui, parce que c'est difficile. Hein? Ah, on a aussi une chose, une chose un peu technique. Non, c'est bon. Moi, moi, je j'ai goûté à le faire en français. Hein? Oui, oui, oui. Vous savez, maintenant, dans le monde du computer, nous avons été ici pour un moment, ne le faites pas, et un enfant de 5 ans peut le faire. Sont les enfants qui sont nés avec cette zone plus développée Mm. Yes, uh, children are being born now because of the uh, relative position of our planetary system vis-à-vis -vis the black hole in our gallery, uh, galaxy. They're being born, uh, they're being influenced by the electromagnetics. Their brain, of course, is developing at that time. So they're being influenced electromagnetically in a different way that we were uh, uh, influenced. Uh, at any Uh, and in, in a different way that our grand, great grandparents were, because we were at a different position. The whole planetary system was a different, a different position vis-à-vis -vis the galaxy uh, and vis-à-vis -vis the black hole. And remember, the energy comes from the source. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, where we are, where we are at the, uh, our position, even our physical position here, it's important in order to absorb the energy from the source. So being in the right place at the right time, it's important. It's important. And uh, and the children that are born now are born in a with a different electromagnetic uh, environment. Uh, Magnetoelectric, really. Magnetoelectric environment. And magnetoelectric. Yeah, because uh, we have to make the distinction between the magnetoelectric spectrum and the electromagnetic. We are... The, the magnetoelectric spectrum is what's all around us. Our brain communicates uh, electromagnetically. And the interface is between the magnetoelectric spe spectrum and the electromagnetic spectrum. And all these, that they say that all these computers themselves are harming us. Is that true, the EMTs, what they call the electromagnetic? Well, you know what? Uh, they do. The computers do give out electromagnetic waves. Is that harmful to us? Uh, however, we About we the can. Uh, I, I would say that we have to use them because you know, uh, I would not stop using a computer no, because absolutely. it gives out because uh, the influence. Uh, I mean, we can overcome that. You know, we okay. can overcome that without with our with own consciousness. In other words, okay. we should be able to. Uh, take advantage of all the technology we have Absolutely. that we have developed or our left brain technology and integrate that with our right brain technology that we're de developing right now as a species. There, there are two different technologies. Okay? And I don't uh, knock uh, anything that our left brain has developed. God right. or the source gave us the left brain for us to use both. Absolutely. The thing is, use both. You know, be aware. You know, uh, And, and also take advantage of all the pharmaceuticals that are there because they, there are some things that you know uh, some some things that can be treated through pharmaceuticals you know yeah. not a problem yeah. you know they do have side effects and have negativity and all that but you know but so does uh, sometimes you see using it to one extreme one hemisphere is just as bad yeah you know uh, as using the other one to the extreme you know what I mean so integrate Integrate both technologies. Integrate the left brain technology of the computers, left brain technology of our conventional doctors. The conventional doctors eventually, you know, will begin to bring in ideas from the right hemisphere. They'll be forced to because they're finding that more and more they're not able to cure certain illness. The conventions future will oblige our children to integrate the other hemisphere that they want and they don't. But for instance, unfortunately, one of the greatest ills we have is cancer. Yes. And the left brain has developed stuff that doesn't really work. It just poisons the body and yes, kills everyone. Yes, that is true. Body. With cancer, it, it, with cancer, with the technology cancer. that's out there, since we don't have a cure for cancer exactly. yet, you know, 
uh, it's uh, uh, the technology it's that's terrible. out there at times. The, the side effects are worse than than the disease. You know? If you can cut it out, that's fine. That's yeah, exactly. One thing. Exactly. But to burn and poison your entire yes, body, exactly. yes. it's who dies first, sure. you or the cancer. Sure, exactly. Alaska exactly. Bile. Because that that's, is not an option. That's what. Yeah, that's right. That's what. Uh, that's what they do with chemotherapy. So. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. but there are other things sick. like you know uh, to control the blood pressure. If you can, oh, if, you, if you cannot, if you don't have the time to do the meditation and work on your breathing uh, yeah. because it's hard, you know. And you, 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 you're, you're living in a life that you have to run around and do your work, and you know we live in a in a world that's uh, you know quite stressful. Uh, there are there are good pharmaceuticals yeah. for that. You know, it is and, uh, body pharmaceutical. And, and when there's a need for uh, antibiotics. Yes, antibiotics. Of course, you know, don't overdose on the meat because they have, you know, they, the more you get, you take, the less the effect they have. It's a choice. But but you know, sometimes you need the Absolutely. antibiotic. You know, so, so, and 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 or if you, uh, or, or an operation for hip replacement, like my mother was 96 and she had. 90. Well, she died when she was 96. You know, but at at, at 90 she had a hip, a hip replacement, replacement, and you know there was no other choice. You know, yeah. I mean, otherwise it was. Would, she would have remained. Uh, was she able to walk after? Afterwards, she was able to walk, you know, because I took very good care of her, you know. But, uh, but some things need to be. Wow, so yeah, she lived in with, with my my care, you know. Absolutely, it makes a big difference. Makes a difference. Yeah. So you know. Uh, so be eclectic, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Be eclectic. But if, if you see, but if the therapy is causing more harm than good, Merci. then. Change the therapy. Si la, la thérapie te, te, te cause plus de mal que de bien, change la thérapie. Change la thérapie. Mm -hmm. Est-ce que, euh, parce qu'il y en a, on sait qu'ils viennent ici et qui barrent malgré tout, Joao ne peut pas changer le, la mission de l'âme. We all, you see, we all have a mission in life. And ideally, we should be just doing our mission. To live a long life, what I recommend is find your mission and do it fully and dedicate your time to